Hey everyone, Dan from On One here. Today I want to give you some tips and tricks on retouching your photos and show you something new that we've created that'll help you out a lot in some special cases. So here we are on a photo. I've gone in and I've done my basic tone color adjustments from the raw photo already. So, you know, there's the original. There's just my basic adjustments. And you'll notice there's some sensor dust here in the sky. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that. You can see up here there's a big dusty two or three big dust spots in the sky. To easily remove those, we're going to go to the Retouch Tool Group, and I'm going to use the first tool, the Healing Brush. The Healing Brush is very fast, and it's completely non-destructive. I can go in and I can re-edit all of the places that I retouch and where they're retouched from. So it's kind of my favorite tool to do this with. To use it, simply paint over the thing you want to remove, and it will sample from a nearby area, and I just adjust it if necessary to pick an area that will heal it more appropriately. You can also change the feather of the tool after the fact or while you're brushing as well. So I'll just adjust it to have a softer feather in this case. And I'll just repeat that as many times as I need to to retouch the objectionable spots in my photo. Now let's take a look at another area that can be difficult when it comes to retouching. And that's something like this sign in the window. Let me zoom in here a little bit. This sign in the window kind of drives me nuts. Let's get rid of it too. I'll just paint over it here. Now you notice how it tries to pick the most appropriate area. And if I grab the green area, I can try to move it around to make it work. But you notice it, it just doesn't quite line up. The problem is the distortion in the window is different from side to side. So they're not symmetrical. They don't look the same. There's no way that I can take information from another area in the photo and patch it in a way that's going to look believable. I'm still going to see some edges that are different because the window components are thicker and thinner or aligned differently from side to side. So let me show you a new trick that we've added to conquer this problem. I'm just going to hit the delete key or the delete button up here and I'm going to remove that last stroke. The cool thing is all your strokes are re-editable and deletable. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to mark the entire right side of the window instead. So I'm just going to draw a much larger selection. I'm going to go all the way down the right. And I'm going to go all the way up right along the edge of the brick. I don't have to be super precise on this. I just want to make sure I cover everything on that right-hand side to areas that don't matter, like the texture in the footer of the door doesn't really matter. All right. So I'm going to mark that area that I want to replace. It's going to pick the area on the left-hand side, kind of the closest match that it can find. But the problem is it's going the opposite direction, right? It's going to the left where the one on the right is going to the right. What I really need to do is I need to flip it around so that it matches. So watch, here's the cool new thing you can do. If you hold down the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on the Mac, it's gonna show you a new overlay over the top of the region that you're replacing. This allows you to scale and transform and rotate the patch. You can also flip it horizontally or vertically using the buttons at the bottom. I'm just gonna hit the Flip Horizontal button. There you go. You can see how it now flips the patch around, so now everything's going the right direction. Now it's simply a matter of just adjusting the region so that they line up correctly. I'm just going to grab the green patch, that's my source patch, and I'm just going to adjust it until it lines up in the proper spot on my photo. There you go. You see I was able to take a large section from the right-hand side and replace it using a large section from the left-hand side, and then I just flipped it over so that it aligned and matched correctly. That's the cool new transform capabilities of the healing brush. Let me show you how you can use this in another photo. In this photo, there's a pathway that runs along the right-hand side, and it curves and changes angle and elevation a little bit. And I have a couple walking on it. I want to remove them from the pathway. So I'll grab my retouch brush, and I'll do the same thing I would normally do. I would just paint over these guys that I want to get rid of, like so. And it's going to pick another region, and I would attempt to align that region but the problem is there's that foreshortening in the path. The path goes from thicker to thinner and it changes angle a little bit. No matter where I try to copy and paste from, there's gonna be an obvious flaw on one side or the other. I can make one side look good or I can make the other side look good. Let me zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit better here. So as I said, I can either make the foreground of the path look correct or if I adjust, I can make the background of the path look correct. But the problem is they're a different angle from where I'm trying to copy from. Well, using that same option, holding the Option key or the Alt key on the destination, I can rotate and scale it so that I can make it align better. So I'm just going to move my cursor to the outside corner, and now I can 
rotate that so that I can get the angle of the pathway to match on both sides. There we go. Now we can believably copy from one spot to another and align it so it looks better. It's a handy new feature of the healing brush, and we hope it's going to make your retouching a lot more powerful. Thanks for watching.